So here we have to calculate the speed of a ball, and we're given some units to do it. Okay. Uh, well, let's just see what formula we need. So what I'll do is I'll just write them down, and as I go, I'll convert them into SI units. Okay. So force. I don't even know what formula I'm using. Right. I'll just write them down. So force. I'll do it a little bit better. Force is equal to 5.3 kN. So that's 5.3. The K is a thousand. So times 10 with three zeros is a thousand uh, newtons that's the first one okay um next one on the mass we're gonna need that so we're gonna say mass here equals 45 grams okay um so 45 at uh, again this gram so it's actually 10 to the minus three kilograms Okay, so the last one there is time. It's T equals 0 0.54 milliseconds. So milli is a uh, thousandth. So it's 10 to minus 3 uh, seconds. Cool. Now we can kind of figure out what formula we're using here. Oh, it also says the speed. So I guess I should really like write down the speed. Um, as it leaves, so speed at the end is v for the final velocity. v equals, and that's our target variable there, that's what we don't know. Okay, so I'm going to need a formula with f, m, t, and v in it. So we're going to use the deceleration formula. So that's going to be f is equal to m times, that's a mass, uh, times the velocity, and the difference between that and the other momentum, so it's m u, and all of that will divide by t. This is the form we're going to use, and then we're going to just sub it in. Oh, there's one nice little thing here because the initial speed, the starting speed u, is zero, we can pretty much straight away just cancel out all this bit here. Okay, because u is zero. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'll just get the L rubber and go where and get rid of that all together. So now I've actually just got mv over t. That's a much nicer formula, actually. Cool. I like this would be better, nice and quicker. Let's do it. Uh, oh, well, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll rearrange it so v is the answer. That would be a clever move. Okay, uh, so f times the t equals m v and then what you do is you get rid of this m here and bring it underneath so i'm going to say this thing again and i'm just going to take that m and i'm going to shove it under there okay and tidy it up real good i'll take one of those you ink right and that is going to be my formula that I'm going to use to get this question here. So I'm basically just going to take all these numbers here and sub them into that yoke. Let's do it. So 5.3 times 10 to the 3. That's F. Multiplied by T, which is 0 0.54 times 10 to the minus 3. Divided by m, and m is 45 times 10 to the minus 3. And that, when you work it all out, will be 63.6 .6 meters per second. And that's how fast the thing is going.